Hello and welcome to another video of Learn UX ID. Here we learn user experience design, UI design, Figma, Adobe XD, anything related to design. So uh, today's video is about removing backgrounds from the images. Uh, from past few uh, months, I have been trying to um, check different plugins, uh, different services that are free and that are paid. And for me, there was a very uh, popular plugin, Remove BG which I really don't like because it costs a lot. So let me share with you some of the free ones and the ways you can remove background perfectly from your image. Gone are the days when you have to clip your whole image in Photoshop to remove the background. So here we go. Okay, so first uh, I'm going to show you some of the Figma plugins. So you can see over here, I have tried different like remove BG, it, is very costly. It costs around like $0.23, uh, $0.2 per image. Uh, this one, Pig's Cut Background Remover, it is also paid one. There are a few, few more, AI Removal, all those are paid services. So what I have found right now is the best one among these is Benzin Remove Background for free. So let's replicate this and First, I'm going to use Benzin. This is so far my favorite. So let's run this. Remove background for free, really good name. And it is going to do the best job. Uh, for me, I think it really cleared out all the um, background very crisp and um, uh, in a very, very good way. So it is still running. I'm not sure because I think the background or the image is big. Here we go. So this is the comparison. This is I did with another uh, plugin I'm going to share with you. And this is the Benzin. The best Benzin is going to be the best one. Okay, next let's replicate this again. And I, the other one I used is Icon 8 Background Remover. So let's run this and it shows you the error this image is too large should be up to 5 mb so this is a problem for me because when i drag images i don't try to resize them in figma before i remove backgrounds so this is also free one but it gave me an error anyhow so this one on background is the next which i used and it actually removed the background it didn't ask me that this image is very big so here we have it and it has some blur applied to it and um, in some cases, this blur is a good thing, but uh, this one is very, very close, very crisp. This one is done by uh, Unbackground. So two plugins, Benzin, Unbackground. And third one is Icon 8 Background Remover. I think that one is also free. Uh, others I have tried, I think they, they were asking me for setting the APIs and all that stuff uh, before you know, testing the product, uh, which I really hate. And one more thing is that you can also use Adobe Express, create a free account on Adobe Express. And here we have remove background. And I'm going to drop my image over here like this. And it will take some time because it has to upload and then uh, start refining and uh, I mean removing. Okay, so this did a really, really perfect job you can download it, you can customize it. So let's try to customize it. So here we have text, photos, shapes, design assets, backgrounds. I'm not sure why it really picked a very nice uh, brown background behind this guy. Uh, so this is another way you can download this uh, image and you can remove the background from by using Adobe Express. You can also create a lot of things. I think it is a competitor for Canva um and uh, nice thing nice addition so so this is these are few plugins i have tried and i i really hate you can see over here if i show you uh, the pricing for this one so it is still loading and trying to remove the background you can see it is for 500 images it is 64 dollars uh and uh, you can see over here another one wondershare pigs cut it it also has a pricing so uh, it is like 0.095 per image. I think this is a bit better option, uh, but the, the performance is lacking over here. 
So I really hate, I think they should be charged. Yes, but they should be charged very minimal because you have created a service, uh, a plugin that um, a thousand of people can use and they can easily remove background. I think that should, uh, for 500 images, it should be like $10. That would be a good bargain. So that is my video about removing backgrounds using Figma plugins for free. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will meet you soon in more such videos. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.